Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can embed a video into a web page inside of Adobe Flash. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can create a web page with an embedded Adobe Flash video player which has your own video embedded in it. So basically what I'm going to tell you guys how to do is I'm going to tell you how to embed your own videos into your own website using Adobe Flash. So anyway, you can use a couple of different things to get the job done. I believe you can use any version of Adobe Flash, but however, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys an Adobe Flash version CS5. So to go ahead and do this, you're going to need a few things. So first of all, you're going to need Adobe Flash CS5 or any version of Flash you want to. You're also going to need Adobe Media Encoder, but however, if you have Flash installed, it prompts you to install Media Encoder when you install Flash, so you probably already have Media Encoder installed if you have Flash. You're also going to need something to upload your files to, such as a website or a web server, and a FTP client to upload those files to. I am using FileZilla, but you can use anything else you want to. And also, if you want to make your website look a little bit better or more nice, you're going to need something like a background image or something. And in today's video, I'm going to include in the description box a download links to this little template which I made for the website, which is a Photoshop document, which I will leave down in the video's description down below. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open up Adobe Flash, CS5 in my case, and you're going to need to go here to Create New and then Action Script 3.0. Once you're in Action Script 3.0, what you want to do is you want to go over here to this little menu here that says Essentials. You want to click on it and switch the design, switch to the Designer mode. Once that's done, you should get a little mode that looks like this. It's Designer. And so first things first, you're going to need to import your background image if you want to go ahead and make your web page page look a little bit nicer. So I have a background image which is this right here which is a little template which I will link in the video's description. It just says Nick W324's example video player and then it's got a little box that says video goes here and then it's got something here that says video details and description goes here. I'll link this in the video's description as you see here I've got a little PSD file so you guys can go ahead and edit this any way you want to. So anyway first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go back to flash and I'm going to go and I'm going to change the properties and I'm going to change the size of that to 1024 by I believe it was 768 which were the dimensions that I made my background image so you just need to remember what the dimensions of your background image are so mine were 1024 by 768 as you can see over here so once you have your canvas to fit the size of your background image let me just go ahead and size this into proportion here so once you have your canvas to fit the size of your background image what you want to do is you want to go here to file go to import and then go to import to library right here click there and then go to the desktop and import your templates or whatever you want to and uh, as you see over here in the libraries tab as you see here it converts to a symbol and then an actual picture so I'm going to drag the picture onto the canvas and I'm going to fit it to fit the size of the canvas and then that is our background image right there. So that's the background image for our web page. So now what we want to do is we want to embed the video. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a video file. So as you see here I have video.m4v. This was a video file which I just made in iMovie really really quickly. I believe I showed it at the beginning of this video. So anyway this is just a quick little video I made in iMovie. Now I rendered the video out and 360p, which if you guys don't know is 640 by 360. The only reason I did that is so that it's better playback on the internet because, however, this method, and along with the free host that I'm using, an HD video wouldn't really play back as well. So I decided to render my video in 360p just for the purposes of this video. So once you have your video, you need to go into Flash, and then you need to go here to File, and then you need to go to Import, and then go Import Video. Once you're in there, you want to click here on Launch Adobe Media Encoder. So just go ahead and Launch Adobe Media Encoder, and then it prompts you to go ahead and save your uh, FLA project. If you guys don't know what an FLA project is, it's basically your Flash document. And before you can go ahead and do anything in Flash, you have to save it. So I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to create a new project and I'm going to just name this uh, video. I'm going to click create. And then in video, I'm just going to name this project here. Instead of untitled 2, I'm going to name it video.fla. Click save. It'll save and then it'll bring this up 
don't show again, that's fine. Click OK. And then as you see here, it's launching up Adobe Media Encoder CS5 or any other version of Adobe Media Encoder that you so happen to have. So, as you guys can see here, Adobe Media Encoder CS5 is up and running. So the first thing you need to do is go here and click on Add. Once you're in there, it asks you to browse for your video file. So I'm going to click here, which is video.m4v, which I showed you guys before. I'm going to click Open. And once it goes ahead and it adds the video, as you see here, it's up here in the Media Encoder. And it has the file format here, which is going to be FLV and F4A, which is perfectly fine for what we need. But if you guys need to go ahead and uh, change the settings more, you can go ahead and select that and go to Settings. And once you're in Settings, you can go ahead and change everything like it is right here in the Adobe Media Encoder. But I don't need to, so I'm just going to click Cancel. So once this is done, now we're going to need to go ahead and encode our media. So just go here and click on Start Queue and then as you see here it's encoding the video so it's encoding pretty fast as you see here it's 640 by 360 uh, you can use HD if you absolutely want to. But anyway, now this little check mark over here means that the media has been encoded. So now we can just close out of Media Encoder and then go back to Flash. And as you see here, we're back in Flash. Make sure you're in the Import Video window again and then just go to Browse. And um, then we're going to choose for Video.F4V. Now before we go ahead and do this, I must uh, just click cancel for this. Before we go ahead and do this, I'm going to take this video.f4v file that we made and I'm actually going to drag it into the project folder. So here's the project folder that we made. It's called video. If we open that up, as you notice, it has the f4v file we made as well as the fla file that we went ahead and saved. So this is our project. So you want to keep this in your project folder. So once you have your video.f4v in your project folder, just go back to Flash go to file, go to import, and then go to import video, then go and click browse. Once you're in there, find your project folder, and then import that video.f4v file. Make sure the file name is video. Don't forget, make sure the file name is video. Click open, and click continue, and then here it'll give you the options to go ahead and mess with your video skin. You can go ahead and put in a URL if you absolutely please, or you can go ahead and change the skin to any one of these skins. You can choose custom skin URL too to make a custom video player skin, but however I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video. You can also choose the colors of it right here, but I like to keep mine at this kind of gray color. So once that's done, click continue, click finish and it's generating metadata. And then as you notice, here we go, we have the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drag that to fit in my video space. Again, you want to make it fit into with the template. So as you see here with the template, I have something that says video goes here. So just put the video over that. And then as you see, the video is in the center of the template, and then you have your background right there. So once that's done, everything is finished. You just need to go here to File, and then go to Publish Settings. Once that's done, make sure you save it as a Flash SWF file and an HTML file. And you can go ahead and change the video names. And I'm not good with that. Then just click OK, and then go to File, and then go to Publish. And then as you see here, it's publishing, and then it's published. So if I minimize Flash and go back to my project folder, as you see here, not only do we have the video.f4a and the video.fla, but as you see here, we have a skin SWF file, we have a video.swf file, and we have a video.html file. So we can go ahead and launch up the video.html file. And that's pretty much it. As you see here, we've embedded the video in with the website. But however, this is just on a file on our computer. We want to make this upload to our website. So before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and click the flash so that it doesn't slow down my computer. I'm going to click Save. So now that we have all of our video files here in this video project folder, as you can see here, we want to upload that to our web server. So to do that, I'm going to go here to FileZilla. Now you're going to need a website for this, and you're going to need to know the basics of FTP and uploading to your website. I've covered all these topics in uh, previous videos, so I'm just going to go quick, click the Quick Connect button, and as you see here, I'm connected to my website. I just need to go here. So I'm going to upload it to the public folder, and as you see here, here's everything that's in my website. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that video folder, and I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to wait until it imports to my website. And as you see here, here's the video folder here in the FTP client. I open that up. 
And as you see here, it's uh, importing everything which we had right here. So as you see here, here are the video files right here. Here's the skin file and all the other video files. So anyway, once that's done, you can just go ahead and go to the URL of the website. So it was video. So let me just go ahead and launch up my web browser. So let me just uh, open up a new tab here. So I believe it was... slash video. Click OK. And then as you see here, it's the parent directory. So you want to go to the link of that HTML file, which is video.html. And so here we go. And as you see, I can pause it. I can move it around. So I have a pause button, a stop button, a thing to move it around. If I go ahead and uh, scroll down, as you see here, video details and description goes here, example video player. You have your volume controls over here and everything else. And as you notice, this is the web page. Now remember, in order to get this video page right here, you need to navigate to the website, to the directory, and then you need to navigate to this direct HTML file. But once that's done, you get your web page right here and you have an embedded video. So I can click play. And then as you see here, I have my own video embedded into my website. So this is my vi my website with my video, and I'm hosting my own video on my website. So that's just a really simple, basic way to do it, guys. I hope you enjoy this little quick Adobe Flash tutorial. I will post links in the description for the template P PSD file which I used. And feel free to go ahead and download them as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to leave any suggestions for more videos I should do in the comments section down below. And anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.